in this tutorial we will see how to do rendering so let's start so we already learned how to apply lights how to apply material then how to make animations so everything is ready you have applied the lights you have applied the material then to render just go to render tab and click on render button here just single click so it will render so step by step it will do the rendering so uh, time taken to render will depend on how big is your object how many lights are there then whether sun is on or off or sky is on or off so there are number of factors that will de determine the time of your render so you have to wait up till then so in this way it will show the complete effects what is the light effect what is the material effect that is in realistic to come out just rotate your mouse cursor uh, roller or just drag the mouse so it will cancel the render and you will come out come out to normal view then during rendering you you have different settings to control here so if you click on if you see here so you can uh, determine what type of uh, rendering it should be if it is very in initial stages you can go for draft and if it it is to be presented to the customer then you can go for presentation mode so that will improve the quality of the render then if you click on this arrow render arrow then here you can define the output size if you are want to save the image then you can define the size of your render the image should be of this size that you can select from here then using adjust exposure you can adjust different parameters such as brightness contra then contrast and different parameters are there those you can vary and see the effect here and you can decide which is the best for you so in this way you can adjust different parameters if you want to apply fog then from here environment you can define the fog if you want you have to define the parameters fog for the fogs there then whatever uh, now my render is happening in the viewport so where that render should happen that you can control by going to view and here 3d palettes section here is the advanced render setting are, are there just single click on that so it will show you the advanced render settings so these are the different settings so from here you can control the destination where your render should be shown if you say in different window then it will show you a different window when you click on the render if i now click on the render it will show me a separate window for rendering so it will show a render like a window like this and in which it will do the complete rendering so in this way it will show you the complete rendering so what is the benefit of this window you can save this file in a some format just click on file save and choose your desired format so in which format you want to save you can choose the desired format and you can save it then here the uh, previous renders are also available that by double clicking on that if now this is our first render therefore there other renders are not available but normally if you do more renders then you can have the list available here and you can double click and see the previous effect was that was so in this way you can see in window so you can close window by clicking on this button so in this way you can define the destination where your render should happen you can either say window or viewport you can control the output size from here also what is the size you can also specify the custom size here so uh, if uh, you have already applied material but in rendering it is not coming then you have to make here the apply material on if it is off it will not show same case for texturing uh, texture also you have to make it on and same way for shadows also if shadows are not visible you have to define here the type of shadow you want so in this way you can control your render settings from here so in this way you can do the rendering 
in auto autocad thanks for joining we'll stop here